Hey everybody, it's Joe, and let's ignore that up there and just move the camera down here. Yeah, there we go, much better. Hey, this looks really good. The old maker shed is getting a little bit of a facelift. One thing that I'm doing is I'm taking this, which used to be a bare shed wall, and I have covered it now so that we can create a little bit more separation between the foreground and the background. Whether the foreground be me or whether it be a 3D printer that I'm reviewing, I wanted it to be more visible. I've looked at my past videos and I'm like, eh, that doesn't work so good. But with this wall now covered, there's no place for me to, you know, stick up my, my shiny bits in the background that create a little bit of, of distraction and movement in the background, like my print -a block LED cube. This is fun. This is cool. This sits back here, but now I have no place to put it. So I thought, well, you know what? I could actually just model and 3D print a shelf that I could just stick up here. And then I thought, well, why not use print -a blocks to make it? I've got a really large, wide print -a block plate that's very thin that would make a good shelf all i have to do is build a vertical section but i dismissed that thought i was like that's silly i couldn't do that because hmm. you know a while ago i actually made these little print -a block connectors that allow me to put a little screw in and i've been using that to light up the led strips that have been lighting this background for a while so i've already got that I think I could do this. I think that'll work. Now I just got to make another one for this guy. Cool. Well, it was cool until it started falling apart. See, the thing about printer block is while they are designed to snap together easily, they're also designed to not necessarily hold their position forever. And so I was a little bit worried about this, but I, I hope that maybe by having it cross supporting itself that it would be a little bit stronger, but no, that ended up not being the case. These shells were falling off the walls and taking whatever I had put on them with them. Fortunately, a solution presented itself. On printables, user Slabadaji made these diagonal half blocks, which go diagonally across the blocks. Now, he is on my Discord as well, and that's how he told me about this. He got on my Discord. His name is Nightshade there, and he said, you should check these out, and it turned out to be exactly the solution to my problem. You can see he's using these for, you know, kind of functional prints, which is super cool. Now, I modified this idea and made half panels. Panels are shorter than half blocks. Uh, they, you can only put the connector in on one side and then it blocks it up from the other side. They are about as thin as a printer block can get and still be useful. But these diagonal panels can go diagonally across the blocks and reinforce them. And what's kind of neat about these panels is that if you have two of them going crosswise to each other, the right lengths, they don't interfere with each other. And you can in fact add a very short panel across here to re reinforce it should you feel that's necessary but i think that the one diagonal across here is going to be enough but with this this design is now complete and stable and i'm actually relatively relatively uh, confident using these every day now with this reinforcement on both sides of these to hold them up in place so i'm going to take this and kind of as a printer block project you could find all of these blocks elsewhere on printables and and downloading them and put this project together yourself but i think i'm going to make a listing for this everywhere printer blocks are found so that you could really easily download and make these mini shelves yourself and 
honestly, I hope that you do. I hope that you look at this and go, this could actually solve a problem. But it really illustrates that printer blocks are more than just toys. And I'm super excited about that. Also, I'm super excited about what's coming next for printer blocks. I'm working on the Battle Mechs series. I'm, I'm calling these Battle Mechas because they're humanoid mechs with articulation that you can pose and they're very, very cool. This one here I'm really excited about because it has really cool wings and they've got a little pilot inside of them. So I hope that you're excited about those. If you want to know more about those, there will be links in the descriptions where you can check them out. Those will be coming soon to Kickstarter and just all over the place. So get hyped for those. But I want to thank you very much for watching. Go make something cool. And remember, you're a child of God, so you're special to me. So take care of yourself and I'll see you next time.